been upgraded to a motorway status so it will conform to the kind of requirements of a motorway so this is a roundabout there's a roundabout with traffic lights on it which is fairly common in the UK on busy roundabouts just to help with traffic flow so I'm now going to move across to the next lane okay, so we're on a red light now but it's gone green so we're okay you'll notice that, that it does say on the road which lane to be in here so this lane is A1M North which is what we need now unusually we're going to go past this junction on the left hand lane because the road's, road marking tell us we can do that so here we go, we're going off also because there's two lanes off the roundabout that's why that one was a bit different so we're now joining up on the motorway the first thing to notice is that the signs are now blue blue indicates a motorway Enjoying the see that's a child. Again, this one, this lane we're in now will form the third lane of the motorway, so we don't have to pull out this time onto the road. Most most slip roads we'll actually have to merge with the main carriageway. Not in this case. So on the motorway now, and speed limit 70 miles per hour. But so I was talking about how this road conforms to a motorway. So you notice on the left there's a hard shoulder which is only for breakdown. That's not stop there any, any other time. You also notice the lane discipline is generally pretty good in the UK. You can, you can only pass on the right and people will return to the leftmost lane as soon as possible. Again, there are always slight differences here because this lane becomes also exits, exits out the next junction. So people who know that will be in the middle lane because they don't want to go left and then right again. So we're just going to pull off here, back to our surfaces. Motorways, so they're, they're kind of different requirements on them, so the lanes are particularly wide, you don't get sharp corners, um, no, they all seem to follow the same sort of specification, and you know, it makes them pretty safe roads. So braking here for some reason, this is a bit unusual, braking, doing about 50 miles per hour. Quite sure what caused that. You can see now the markings on the road now indicating that this lane is for left only. The one above as well says this lane only is for Bulldog and Edgeworth. And the markings on the road as well are showing us that. So I'm going to go right and back up the motorway now. So another roundabout approaching. Now because I'm turning right, I'm actually back down the motorway. I'm going to stay over to the right hand lane. You only go in the left lane when you're about to leave the roundabout. Or if you know joining the roundabout, your first exit is on the left. Notice as well, in the blue side, you notice the green square, that's because that road, the A505, is just a normal A road, it's not a motorway, so the sign is in green. Yeah, it just stops to rain a bit, I hope that doesn't get in the way of the dash cam. Again, another roundabout with traffic lights. Traffic lights go red and uh, red and amber together to show that you're about to go green. Right. So I'm now indicating right because I'm staying right. Again, because there's dual carriageways off all the junctions here, you can see some cars staying in the left-hand lane. But typically, you, if you're turning right or you're not going off at the next junction, you'd always be in the right-hand lane. There we go. So I'm, I'm doing this traditionally now. So I'm in the right-hand lane. Now I'm now going to indicate left. Pull over to the left and leave the roundabout. There we go. Back the way we came. The idea of this was just to show you what a bit of motorway looks like. Going to slow to the left. I'm not expecting to go too fast on the motorway. Motorway speed limit is 70 miles per hour. This left hand lane again becomes the third lane of the motorway, so there's no need to, to join the main carriageway, just stay in the left lane. But I'm doing about 70 miles per hour now. You see, the traffic's generally going to 70. Lorries are limited at 60, but they have limited set a little bit lower. 
traditional motorways, and some are changing now, but the left lane here is a hard shoulder, which is only for breakdowns. You can't stop there for any other reason. It's obviously quite an important safety feature. The white line now, you know, it's gone very, very sort of dense, very dotted, which is indicating that this lane will now come off. Village, 
church actually in a county called Hertfordshire. So it's an ancient church here. So I'm going to turn right here. I can't go that way because it's got no entry signs. So okay, but I can go down here. Okay. There's a little village in the countryside. Speed limit, I should say, built up areas. Like this is always 30 miles per hour. And there's a kind of a, a law that I think people maybe don't realise is if there's no traffic signs, you can see it'll repeat it, it says 30 on a stick. Now, basically, if you're in a built up area where there are where there are street lights and the street lights are within a certain distance, it's just always 30 miles per hour. If there's no street lights, they have to do little repeater signs. Like, crossways down. And joining another road. Okay, it's got cars both ways. I should say, my time driving in the States, the one thing that always confused me and I never knew what to do on was when you get four way crossroads. So, a bit like this, but I know you have got give way signs on all four for entrances to the crossroads. Never knew who goes first. It just seems to be like who got there first or something. I don't, I don't know. So, I'd be interested to know on that. Okay, so now another of kind of, you know, a traditional, this is actually a B road, which are smaller than A roads, but for a lot of the UK's road network. They're just sort of smaller two way roads, really. So, another roundabout coming up here. So, this is more, more of the kind of normal small roundabout that you'll see a lot of places. So, as I approach the roundabout, I'm looking for a car that's indicating to turn right. This blue BMW is. He's indicating, he's got his blinker on. So, you wait for anything coming from the right. So, I see all these cars, nothing coming from the right now. In fact, what I'll do, I'll indicate right. So, you can you go into a roundabout. Round we go. So, I just keep going round. Okay, so I keep in the middle of the roundabout. And then, when I pass the junction, I need to come off it. I indicate left, pull to the left, and off we go. So, so um, we're going to come up to another roundabout in a minute, a slightly bigger one, and I'll show you how that works as well. Come on, come on, come on. So I'm flashing it, so usually here we flash our lights to let somebody across. That's well what I was doing there. Just waving back to say thank you. Yeah. I should have said now, so this is now traditionally we road the white line down the one off, down the middle of the road. And speed limit is 30. No repeater signs because we've got street lights. This is quite a well worn road this morning. Probably should be being surfaced. Okay, so we're going to the roundabout. This time I'm going to turn right on the roundabout. So as I approach it, I'm going to just move myself to the right and indicate right so everyone can see. Now it's really important on roundabouts that everyone does indicate which way they're going. Unless you're going straight across, I should say, in which case you just indicate that you're leaving the roundabout. This is always being a really bad example, and this, I think he's going right by his road position. I'm not indicating. Right, here we go. So it's nothing to my right, I'm joining. Oh, look, no one's indicating. <laughs> I just said that. Right, I'm indicating left, past the last junction, oh, he's indicating to leave. At least he's done that. There we go. Roundabouts are easy when you know. Now going into a little town. Again, got the thing we've got the white lines in the middle of the road are broken, but they're quite close together, which indicates you're in a built-up area. Those white lines will become less frequent if you're in a on an open road. 